क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन सिंप्लीफाई डी पावर एट डिवाइडेड बाय डी पावर टू एज द एक्सपोनेंट्स आर डिवाइडिंग सो दिस इज सॉरी डी पावर सो यू विल सब्ट्रैक्ट इट सो डी पावर सिक्स इज द फाइनल आंसर राइट नाउ नंबर सिक्सटीन मैडी चेंजेस फोर थाउजेंड स्विस फ्रांस इन टू डॉलर वेन द एक्सचेंज रेट इज डॉलर वन टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन थ्री स्विस फ्रांस वर्कआउट हाउ मेनी डॉलर शी रिसीव सो फोर थाउजेंड स्विस फ्रांसिस द फोर थाउजेंड वी आर गोइंग टू राइट डाउन हियर एंड हाउ मेनी डॉलर नाउ यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई सो दिस विल बी एक्स टाइम्स जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन थ्री equals to 4000 times 1 right so then we are just going to divide it by 0.913 0.913 so 4000 divided by 0.913 it's 4.381 uh, sorry sorry there is no point here So this is four thousand three hundred eighty-one point one six, right? That we can write down here. Four thousand. Uh, how many dollars she receives? So we can write it down here, right? Now find the highest common factor of thirty-two and hundred and twenty. so we will use the division method so we are going to divide here by 2 that divides we are going to take that number here which divides both of them for hcm right so 16 2 times 6 again 2 again divide by 2 2 times 4 15 then you see this is 4 this is even number and this is odd so there is no number that divides all of them together so we will have the hcf is here so hcf is 2 times 2 times 4 that is 8 so final answer is 8 right now number 18 the probability that tom is late for school is 0.12 there are 200 school days this year work out the expected number of times expected number of times tom is late for school this year so this is 0.12 uh, so 0.12 is the probability so we are going to multiply this by 200 right so 0.12 times 200 so 24 days he will be late throughout the year right now number 18 x 19 expand and simplify so we are going to expand the brackets so x will be multiplied to this one x times x is x squared plus then x will be multiplied to 8 that is 8x then minus 5x minus 40 So x squared plus 3x minus 40 is the final answer. X squared plus 3x minus 40, right? Question number 20. Now you can see this diagram here. We have a circle here. The diagram shows a circle center O radius AB. This is a sorry diameter ab and center is o abc lie on the circumference of the circle so point a b and c are on the circumference now write down the mathematical name of the line ac so ac now you see ac is a line that touches circle at two points but it does not pass through the center so this is a chord right then Uh, part b find the value of x this is x here give you a geometrical reason for your answer now because this is a diameter 
and this angle will be 90 because that is angle in a semicircle. If this is 90, then we are going to subtract from 180. So, 180 minus 32 plus 90, right? So, let us see how much is that. 180 minus 32 plus 90 which is 58. So, final answer is 58 here. Uh, in reason we can write down this one plus we can write down angle in a semicircle. is 90 degrees right now number 21 a spinner has five sides a spinner has five sides um, each side painted red blue green yellow orange here is the color and the table shows some of the probabilities of the spinner landing on each color so one is missing here complete the table as you know that sum of frequency is always zero uh, sorry sum of frequencies uh, not frequency probability is going to be 1 sum of probabilities is 1 so this one is going to be 1 minus so that means 0 0.3 0 0.16 0 0.18 0 0.25 plus let's say this is x plus x is equal to 1 so we are going to add all of them and subtract from 1 so let's add them 0 0.3 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.25 right we are subtracting this from 1 which gives us 0 0.11 so 0 0.11 is final answer okay now Dan spins the spinner once, find the probability that spinner lands on red or blue. Red or blue, we are going to add these two, 0 0.3, 0 0.16. Remember to write decimal under the decimal. So this is 0 0.46, which is final answer. Number 22, Vanessa invest dollar 8500 at rate of 3.5% per com year compound interest calculate the total value of our investment value of investment we have the formula 1 plus r over 100 power n right p principal amount is 8500 1 plus r is 3.5 over 100 power 6 right so, we can write it down 8500 times this will become 103.5 power 6. I have calculated this already for you. It comes out to be 10449, uh, 10 right? Number 23, the diagram shows three shapes a b and c a b and c on one centimeter square grid this is the square grid here uh, describe the single transformation from a on to b from a to b so you can see let's trace this shape first the easiest way is to use the tracing paper so if you see if i rotate this i can easily see if i rotate this like this I can get this shape right for that uh, one thing we we have three marks here so rotation we have to write down three components rotation and then we have its uh, going this way clockwise okay uh, clockwise 90 degree we have just uh, rotated it once which is 90 and we need to have the center so uh, center if I take this one you see so this is the center this point is the center which is uh, negative 3 and 3 through center negative 3 and 3 right now shape A on to shape C from A to C you can see this is a movement it has been moved so one thing we will write down here translation because this is translated uh, how much we will see uh, let me uh, place this here 
so if you see the shape is here it's going right so this point let me take this point so this point is here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and you can say 7 here so 7 points this side so this point goes here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 2 down 7 and negative 2 so it is a translation with vector 7 and minus 2 right question number 24 uh, without using calculator work out uh, 5 11 over 12 plus 2 1 over 4 right so 12 times 5 is 60 60 plus it's 12 times 5 plus 11 this is 60 plus 11 that is 77 uh, 71 sorry 71 over 12 similarly 4 times to 8 plus 1 is 9 over 4 so the LCM is 12 so this is 71 plus 4 times 3 9 times 3 27 so this is going to be 8 and 9 now we are going to write it down by dividing uh, it's going to be 12 times 8 96 2 so this is 8 2 over 12 so this is 1 this is 6 8 1 over 6 is the final answer right now number 25 I think this is the last question of this paper I hope you guys are getting everything if you like the video and you have reached until this time please press the like button and share it with your friends and i will wait for your feedback in the comment section so let's do this one uh, in this equation uh, in this question both lengths are in centimeter a b and c d they are in centimeter the diagram shows two lines a b and c d the length of a b is 10x minus 12 and length of cd is 2x plus 1 uh, line ab is 3 times as long as line cd so meaning ab is equal to 3 times cd this is the equation so now length of ab is 10x minus 12 this is 3 times of this 2x plus 3 right uh, work out the value of x this is 10x minus 12 equals to 6x plus 9 so 10x minus 6x equals to 9 shift this 12 to other side so 10 minus 6 4x over 21 so x is 21 over 4 which is 5.25 so 5.25 is the final answer right i hope you guys uh, understood so please Press the like button and share it with your friends. See you in the next video guys. God bless you.